Yo, what's going on guys? This is Black Eagle from Snake Beater, back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'm on Apex Legends and I'm giving you 8 tips to get more wins on World's Edge. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below and please subscribe. Guys, if you are already getting wins, then you might not need to know any of these tips. But these tips are more to just give you little reminders in areas that you might be slipping up on and little things that you need to be thinking about if you are trying to purely get wins on World's Edge. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Just quickly though, before we jump in, I'm going to slow down on the uploads now. This is my eighth upload in a row, eight days of videos. Um, I'm going to slow it down a little bit, probably only do two or three this week, so just to keep you in the loop. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you get those notifications on so you know when I upload. Anyway, let's go for it. So tip number one, always use a legend you are confident with. Now the reason why I say this is because I know a lot of people that have been using crypto and they don't actually know how to play crypto at the moment because obviously he's a new legend. They're just adapting to his new play style and whatnot. You shouldn't be getting angry though at the game because you're not getting wins because you're you are playing a legend you don't know you don't know how to play crypto you're just learning him so if you're going to play as him just accept that you're not going to probably get the win if you are playing to get wins though you need to play a legend that you know play the legend that you main if you're going to get wins you need to be at your very best so tip number one always use a legend you are confident with tip number two land in the same spot now the way i say land in the same spot is you want to land somewhere and you just want to get really familiar with it learn where the loot is um what i've been doing is i've been landing in capital city and i know exactly where i like to go i like to go towards the back end of it and i basically loot the same building every single time and now i know for a fact that if i land in capital i know how to do it obviously once you've mastered that area then you can obviously start landing somewhere else but you need to become familiar with a certain part of the map because that's going to be how you're going to develop further into the game because you need to get past the early stages obviously to get to the late game. So tip number two is land in the same spot. Tip number three, only use weapons you are confident with. If you're not very confident with the new weapons, the charge rifle, um, say for example you keep picking up the alternator for some reason, I mean to be fair they're very, very common at the moment, but you need to be thinking only use weapons you are confident with. It's pretty much the same as a legend. You shouldn't be using weapons that you're not good with if you actually want to get the wins. If you're saying, right, I just want to practice with the Havoc, fair enough, that's good. But if you're not very good with the Havoc, then don't get mad because you're not getting wins purely because of the fact that you're using a weapon that you don't know how to use. So tip number three, only use weapons you are confident with. Tip number four is a given, play with friends. Play with friends or get your just get into game chat and talk to your teammates. There's no point playing by yourself if you want to get wins. If you just want to practice the map, fine, fair enough. Just play solos. That's completely fine. You might get a win with a random. But if you want to get wins, you need to play with friends. You need to play with teammates you're familiar with that have very similar play styles. So tip number four, play with friends. Tip number five, always keep an eye on the circle. Now, the reason why I say this is because the circle, a lot of the time, I, I, I honestly personally think that um, World's Edge is a bigger map. I'm pretty certain it is. So you've got a lot more area to cover. Now a lot of the time I find that I land one side of the map, I say I land top left, and then the circle ends up being down at the bottom right. And I've got a lot of distance to travel. You need to be thinking, right, how far have I got to travel? How, how am I going to get there? Think about also the options, because a lot of the times in this map is the circle will, say for example, be leading towards say two mountains and you go through the middle of it there's a lot of entrances like that you need to be thinking which is the safest route to get to the next circle because you do not want to be caught in a tunnel it's the worst thing when you get caught in a tunnel because you just get sandwiched from the front and then normally you get a team coming from the back so you need to be also thinking about the safest route to the next circle where you've got a lot of area and you can see and you're not going to be trapped so tip number five is always keep an eye on the circle tip number six Always be prepared for the third party. I was struggling really hard at the beginning of the week. I was getting third party, fourth party, fifth party all the time. And I do think it was down to the fact that after a fight, I was not thinking straight and I wasn't thinking, right, let's quickly loot, get the essentials and then get ready for a next fight. I was looting for ages, maybe swapping around a few weapons, deciding what I wanted and what I didn't want. You need to be thinking, right, I've just killed a team. Someone is going to have heard that. Quickly swap armor, grab the ammo, 
and then either move position or get ready for a fight. I would recommend repositioning because hopefully then they'd maybe just go loot the late uh, the loot boxes. But it's down to you if it depends what how, what you prefer to do. But yeah, tip number six is always be prepared for a third party. Tip number seven, stack up on heels. Like we just said earlier about the fact the circle sometimes can be top left and then it'll uh, and then you'll be bottom right, for example. You've got a lot of distance to travel. If you get caught in the wall, you need those heels desperately. Take syringes, take med kits. You will have a lot of times where you end up getting stuck in a circle when you have a lot of walking to do. Because it's, it's happened before with me. I've got to the new circle and then it's already started moving again. And that happens quite a lot, I find, on this new map. So make sure, tip number seven, stack up on heels. And last tip, tip number eight, real simple, communication. Really simple, call out what you're gonna do, call out enemies, call out everything. If you, for example, put someone no shields, say it's the Wraith. Say, for example, how much health she's got left. Say, for example, you see some body armor, ping it. You need to keep up communication or you're not gonna get your wins and therefore you're gonna keep getting angry and we all know how that ends, you end up rage quitting the game and you're not a very happy person for the rest of the night. So yeah, tip number eight is communication. Those are eight tips, obviously there's billions of tips you can have out there but those are the top eight tips I can think of today thinking right, how how do I get more wins on, this, on the new map? How am I doing it? And I thought to myself right, these are the eight things that I keep, need to keep thinking about with World's Edge. Hopefully you guys take on these tips and they help you out. But yeah, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button. Comment down below any tips you've got and please subscribe with your notifications on. Then you'll know when I've always uploaded. Apart from that guys, I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.